situation in Japan for amputees. Um, they're having this kind of technology for more than 50 years, but the cost is still like more than $15,000. And penetration rate is still like 1%. So, um, we're using 3D printers and other modern technologies to reduce the uh, price and define project set a hand in another way. Uh, the concept is accessible myoelectric hand. So, um, the system works in this way. Even if you lost your hand, your muscles still resist in your remaining arms. So we collect the, those uh, muscle activity and smartphone calculates the, um, the intention of the user and finally sends it to the hand. And um, there are several ways to reduce the cost. So first, we use smartphone instead of um, conventional purpose-built computer. Um, of course, everybody has smartphone nowadays, so the uh, cost for software is almost nothing. And also, we um, reduce the number of motors one finger has um, three joints, but it is controlled by one motor on the base joint, and it's still capable to grasp several objects. And finally, we manufacture this product using 3D printer. So there's no initial cost, and you can change the design every time you print it. Um, it's really amazing technology. Um, yeah, and altogether, it, we were able to make this prototype within 300 US dollars. And it's not only the low cost, we are also putting our focus on design. So instead of um, designing like look, look, looking like uh, actual skin, we want to um, extend color variation and also um, add function. Like you can exchange your finger depending on situations. Sometimes you put um, NFC on your fingertip and go through security gate without any IC code. Right now we're working with two evangelists. Um, the first guy is called Mr. Morikawa. He's here at Southwest South West with us now. Um, he lost his right hand by an accident two years ago. Um, and now using our start using our hand. Our dream is to make him fly again because he was um, enjoying paraglider before he lost his hand two years ago. Um, the other evangelist is Miss Endo. Um, she is congenital. Um, he, he had, she had a congenital disease. Um, she's a singer too, but she cannot make any gesture or wave hands. So we want to provide her her hand and um, make her a degree of freedom to express her music. Okay, so um, that's basically it. And um, please turn off the video. And um, let me introduce Mr. Morikawa. Um, so he is our evangelist, Mr. Morikawa. Um, he lost his hand at this site two years ago by his own uh, factory accident. Um, he still has a muscle in a form. So um, there's a suit under this cover that is um, that is sensing contraction, and um, he can um, easily you know, control his artificial hand. And it's not only this five finger grasp. He can change modes. So there's a button on the elbow. So if you press that button, it's gonna be three finger to you know pinch small object. And also there's another function. It's like one finger to make a gesture or like press keyboard. And um, for this event, we also prepared another mode, which is we call it Texas. So yeah. So it's also you know programmable interface. So and there's six motors in hand. So each person can program it in their own ways. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, we have a booth here in this aisle, um, 1400. Um, there's other types of color textures. And um, there's a guy demonstrating like both hands. Um, he's intact guy, but he has sensors on both hands. He's um, now uh, controlling two hands at the same time. That's kind of um, interesting, so please stop by. Um, yeah, and. Um, one last thing, I, our company is supported by DMM.make. This um, prosthetic hand was printed here. Uh, DMM.make is really a um, huge um, hardware facility in Japan, just opened last November. So um, I also want to say that Japanese hardware is really um, getting a speed now. Thank you very much.